came back to life. Or something like it. Sure what the chip does. But I want one of those vials. Oh, I have an idea, I have an idea, I have an idea. Or one for the guys. text chip and a battery. How you feeling, sweetheart? Did you eat a cookie? Yeah. Okay, good.
solubilization. Do you think we could break the aggregate and structure gel without flattening the configuration? Jesus, that was a mouthful. You've been listening to Cameron, that's for sure. What do you want, Ron? <laughs> Can you blame me for trying to figure this out? I've been having the dreams too, you know. I don't know what to believe. Oh, I know. Everything from the sudden signal amplification in black boxes to having a comatose Dr. Ross locked up in the glass jar. We've all been going a bit nuts. Tell me about it. It feels like my head's about to explode. Hypothetically speaking, could we stop the wow from mutating? It doesn't work like that. If there was a site alpha? Hypothetically speaking, I guess we could try it. Rally, are you recording this? Sorry. I just... So... Sad book. I mean, yes, sad, but that's not the dominant. This isn't a story of, you know, I lost my family. This is the New Orleans police told us to cross the bridge and the Gretna police sealed off the bridge and what were we supposed to do? That's a long bridge too. person with no head. I don't know. Yet. But I'll find out. Also without a black box. I still think that's why they have their heads so they can have tunnels in Johan Ross was found dead on the climber this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron Eames Lansky, all studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delenda S. The WoW has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything, and definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice so you can get through. Delenda Est. Delenda Est. What does that mean? Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds, and the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. 
to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. Wonder what happened there. Jesus. I don't know. Got a battery. Oh, gotta go. See ya. Bye bye.
battery has a structure gel, and now I need a chip. Cortex chip. I haven't checked for downstairs area that was locked up before. Robot repair bay. That could be well found a cortex chip. The chip, the chip. The chip that I can plug into, your head. plug into my head essentially. That's plug my your plug head. my head into. Just wait till we get to Dark Souls 3 next month. There'll be dragons in that one.
feel like a person, but they have like computer stuff in there. Not a robot, but it's a person. But the structure girl put computer pieces in them somehow. I don't know the biology of it, but. Just, just gotta go with it. Take it to Alpha in the abyss. Find Tau, find Alpha, take the gel to Alpha. Strasky, are you there? I hear you, Herbie. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally her relieving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Okay, then. Stay safe. Omicron, can you hear us? Loud and clear. Everyone all right? We will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Wanted to check in before we pass the last working Lumar probe. Guys, any last words to Omicron? Don't forget to pick us up. You uh, heard that, right? Don't worry, we won't forget. All right, heading into radio silence. Good luck, guys. Tao, please respond. This is Rowley Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tao. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay, it should be in 9.40 on Thursday. <laughs> Not this Thursday. Yeah. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Hmm. Gotten it all. you there. No, don't follow me. Who is following me? Uh, Catherine, we need to go. Another one of WoW's monsters. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. Let's get to work. We need to assemble your new body with the things you collected. Just stuff all of it into the suit with the dead body. Just, 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 just stuff it? Doesn't seem very scientific. Oh. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. Make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. Alright, try activating the seat from the terminal again. This is gonna not go well. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? 
I was going to suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it, change body. Yes, if you want to stay here, I'm not going to stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right, let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. This sounds like a terrible idea. I still have memories from System Shock 2 where the lady AI was tricking me. She seems trustworthy enough, I suppose. Lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. There we go. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control. So please, have a seat. This is gonna go well. Last time Sorry I did this, I traveled into the future 100 years. Well, with the most expensive camera in the world. You know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. Uh -huh. Was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleep of Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were gonna take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. 
I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's gonna happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? That's so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. That's heavy. I got to do. That's heavy. That's me. Mm -hmm. I'm just. Oh. It would be terrible to wake up in this place and. Call it quits here. <sighs> it's heavy, man. All right. Thank you for joining me, Internet. See you on Monday. Enjoy the bowl.